Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jessica Yick, the Dancing Avon Lady, and today I'm so excited to do this review video for you because this is a versus video. No, kidding. Well, kind of. So today I am introducing to you our latest Love at First Lash Mascara Waterproof Edition. Oh my gosh, you don't understand how excited I am to do this video because I love the Love at First Lash Mascara. I have the original one. I have been using it ever since it came out. It took over my nourishing one and I just, I absolutely love this mascara. I love the formula. I love what it does to my lashes. It lengthens, it separates, it volumizes. It's just perfect. It's perfect for me. You have to understand how perfect it is for me. I just, I love this mascara. And so now the fact that it's coming out in a waterproof one, yay, double yay. Um, and so I just want to do a bit of a comparison of the two of uh, with one eye versus the other eye. Why it took me so long to get this video done for a couple of reasons is because, and not to make excuses, but it, actually it's a pretty legitimate excuse. Um, a Nathaniel, he's changing his sleep schedule. So I have no idea when I actually have time to film. And two, the other thing is I misplaced it. <laughs> I kind of need to have the product in order to do the review video, right? Yeah. So that is why I just found it legit five minutes ago. I'm like, oh my god, need to jump on and do this video because I've been planning this video for so long. All right, enough digressing. It is our Love at First Lash Mascara. It's a similar formula. So it is formulated with the uh, lash hugging heart flower and cylindrical shape fibers to help lengthen and volumize your lashes. The other thing is that this is formulated with lash res, olive oil and vitamin E so it helps nourish your lashes from root to tip and it's supposed to have a cobra brush a cobra shaped brush so I'm interested to see how it's different than our other brush for the love at first lash mascara so this one I opened probably about three weeks ago so it is high time to well not really I've been using like a bunch of mascaras you'll see in another video I also have the love at first lash in color now too. I have so many mascaras going. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. But uh, yeah. So anyways, let's open this up and check this baby out. The color that I got is black is black. I believe it's the only color that is available as of right now. Um, it has already been launched. You can get this online on my e-star link in the description box down below. And oh yeah. Also, if you're new here, do me a quick favor, guys. Click the subscribe button before you we continue on with this video, right? So this is another product that is not only it's going to make you feel fabulous, but it's also good for you because it conditions your lashes. Like I've noticed that my lashes do look a lot healthier since I've changed my formula from just a regular mascara to a nourishing mascara. So I noticed the difference when we're using our, my the nourishing mascara for some time. And then when I change to this one, like, oh my gosh, this stuff, it's like so good slightly in love with this product can you tell i talk about this one so much let's open this up here's the product open up it looks exactly the same as the cover outside but the the difference that you can tell if you have both open the waterproof one has a slight pinky purple tint to it let's open up and take a look at this one i'm excited oh mm. interesting it is quite curvaceous Ooh la la. Look at that. Look at that. How cool is that? Huh. So apparently this is supposed to help you to lengthen, curl, and separate your lashes because of the brush and the formula. So I'm definitely interested in trying that out. We're going to do this one on my right eye and my regular one on my left eye. But I want to just kind of compare the brushes for you. The top one is the Love of First Lash non-waterproof brush. And the bottom one is the waterproof brush. So you can definitely tell there is a difference with the shape of the actual brush itself. It's interesting because it's a little bit more tapered at the end. The bristles are all, this looks like the same type of bristle. I'll know more as I put it on my eyes. And then the other thing is that here it's relatively the same size. It just has a little bit of a dip. But the bottom one is definitely, it has a much more apparent curve to it. So very interesting. I'm going to be very excited to try it out and test it out to feel the difference of the two. So I've already got my makeup done. I think it actually looks quite nice. I tried out the new Cashmere Complexion um, foundation. And if it looks a little bit uneven, it's because one side is like a dry application and the other side is a wet application. So, but I'm going with it for the rest of the day because I don't have time to redo my makeup today. Nathaniel just went down for a nap. And so 
I'm on a ticking time bomb right now. We are going to try out the Love at First Lash Mascara on my right side of my face. I already pre-curled my lashes. They were getting a lash lift, guys. So I said to wiggle it. So I'm supposed to wiggle and lift. Wiggle and lift. Wiggle and lift. Wiggle and lift. And I was reading the instructions, and it did say that to get the desired effect, work on one eye before moving on to the other eye for the best effect. I never knew that. I always thought you'd do one eye, let it dry, and then do the other side. Whoa. Look at that. This side has no mascara. This side has basically one coat of the waterproof Love at First Lash Mascara. And oh my gosh. It's amazing. I love these mas this line of mascara so much. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and so it separated my lashes from me. I'm just going to do one more coat, which is something I actually don't normally do. I normally just do one coat of mascara and it's enough for me. Whoa. The wand is really nice to use. I actually kind of like the fact that it is a little bit smaller and more tapered because I felt like I could kind of get into the corner a little bit better. And guys, when you're done with the mascara, there's a couple things you could do with it. You can either wash it really well and use it as a kind of like a lash comb or a brow comb or a brow brush, or there is an organization, I have to look for it, but you can actually donate your brushes to them, your mascara wands, and um, they use it to clean wildlife. It's really cool, so I'm gonna look that up for you guys too, and I'll put it in the description box below. So here is the regular formula of the Love at First Lash, and we're going to do the application on my left eye. And because I did two coats on that side, I'm gonna do two coats on this side too. There we go. All right, so both sides of my lashes are done now. Let it set and dry for a second. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh my God, it sounds so vain whenever I say that, but the effect of it is so pretty. I love mascara. Mascara is one of those things that if I don't have a lot of time to do makeup, mascara and lip gloss are the two main things of my life. It just wakes up your eyes. Okay, so this is the regular side. This side is the waterproof Love at First Lash. What I think I noticed is that the waterproof side one looks, the lashes look a little bit more lifted than the non-waterproof side. Interesting. Look how full that looks. Wow. And I did two coats on both sides. Wow. I am so happy with this. I am going to wear this. I'll do an update in a bit to let you guys know how it kind of wears. But it feels very comfortable. It doesn't feel heavy. It's not weighing my lashes down. I do, honestly, I do feel, yeah, that this side is more lifted than this side. And it's, like, I guess formula and brush. I don't know, because I did two coats on both sides. And I curled my lashes exactly on both sides. So, yeah, there we go. So I'll be back. All right, it's been about seven hours now since I've put on the mascaras. This is the regular one, the regular Love at First Lash, the non-waterproof side. And then this side is the waterproof side. Look, it's still curly. It's still curly. Like, normally by now, there's a bit of a droop. But, oh my gosh, look, it's still curled up. I'm so in love with this mascara. It's like ridiculous how much I'm in love with this mascara, guys. Holy crap. And, yeah, of course, there's been a costume change. Not costume change, but an outfit change. Um... I shot like five different videos today and this was like my final one that's also covered with flour because Ginevra and I, we made a cooking video, but oh my goodness, check that out. And yeah, like look at that lift. Like this side there's lift, but this side it's lifted. Like, lifted. oh my God, I'm so happy with it, guys. So loving the waterproof love at first lash mascara it is a fantastic formula super lightweight it does the cold i don't know if it's the cobra brush that does the curling but it definitely it's definitely a lot more lifted and curled than normal oh my gosh i'm loving it and with both sides there's like no smudging no flaking off nothing's irritating my eyes which is great because i do tend to have very dry sensitive eyes um so yeah i highly recommend it if you guys want to try the one new waterproof mascara try this one out it's awesome so if you want to learn more about the love at first lash waterproof mascara make sure you do click on my easter link down below to check out more information and all the other wonderful products we have as well as while you're there make sure you do check out that join avon button see whether or not being a coming in avon brand ambassador and opening up your own online avon business to sell across canada would be right for you send me a pm 
and we can get things started or just ask me some questions. There's no obligation to join. If you're new to this channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button as well as that bell, little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. I do have new videos up every single week about beauty reviews, product reviews, launches, and more. If you love review videos and you enjoyed this video, please make sure you show me some love. Give me a big fat thumbs up. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Someone also please teach me the right angles to use when trying to film like lashes. <laughs> I don't know, this way? No, that doesn't feel right. This way just looks like you're looking at my nose and straight on I just look cross-eyed. I don't know, help me guys, help me, help me, help me.